Elliot Kipchoge is widely regarded as the greatest marathon runner of all time. Since 2013, Kipchoge has been virtually untouchable over the marathon distance. Out of his 11 international marathons, he has won 10 of them. In his most recent marathon performance, Kipchoge shattered the previous world record by running a time of 2 hours, 1 minute, and 39 seconds at the 2018 Berlin Marathon. This performance left the running world in complete awe as Kipchoge broke the previous record by a staggering 1 minute and 18 seconds. Kipchoge's incredible running ability is the product of intense physical training, a strict, simple lifestyle, and otherworldly mental toughness. In this video, we'll be detailing Elliot Kipchoge's running habits and what he does in order to be great. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great running content, and feel free to leave a comment down below of any athletes you want me to take a look at in the future. Thanks, and enjoy the video. It should come as no surprise that, in order to be one of the greatest marathoners of all time, you have to run a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a huge amount of miles. Detailed here is a typical training week for Kipchoge when he's training for a marathon. In total, Kipchoge runs right around 120 miles per week, or about 190 kilometers. One important characteristic of Kipchoge's training is his pacing. At his maximum efforts during training, Kipchoge explains that he rarely pushes workouts past the 90% effort mark because he wants to save 100% efforts for race day. However, even on moderate to slow days, Kipchoge often completes runs at a pace faster than 6 minutes per mile. But Kipchoge does make sure to take active recovery days where he'll run for about one hour at a relatively slow pace. Another important aspect of Kipchoge's training is its location. For most of the year, Kipchoge trains in Eldoret, Kenya, which fosters many of the world's greatest distance runners. Eldoret is also known for its high altitude, which is very beneficial to elite endurance athletes. At its peak, Eldoret reaches 9,000 feet in altitude, which is about twice the altitude of Denver, Colorado. At this altitude, much less oxygen fills the surrounding atmosphere, and this helps endurance athletes build much higher aerobic capacities. Eldoret is also known for its wide array of soft running surfaces. One famous location is the Chep Kaleil University Track, which houses very popular Tuesday morning track sessions. This track is located at just over 7,100 feet in elevation, which again aids endurance athletes in becoming aerobically gifted. The final, and perhaps the most important aspect of Kipchoge's training is his teammates. Kipchoge believes that teamwork is absolutely essential to reaching your goals. In the Breaking 2 Project documentary, Kipchoge says, you cannot train alone and expect to run a fast time. There's a formula, 100% of me is nothing compared to 1% of the whole team. For Kipchoge, this teamwork is not only beneficial to his physical preparation, but it gives him continued mental balance for his long-term success. For many athletes in Kenya, running isn't just an athletic pursuit, it's a way of life. Although Kipchoge has an estimated net worth of $10 million, he chooses to live a life that is low profile and modest. In Eldoret, Kipchoge lives in a small-sized house with his wife and three children. He drives a normal car and spends a lot of his time with local people in his village. There's really nothing on the surface that would suggest that Kipchoge is anything but a happy and normal individual. It's entirely possible that Kipchoge is absolutely correct when he says that a simple life is the best way to be free. There is next to nothing preventing Kipchoge from maximizing his focus on the marathon. He wakes up at 6 a.m., goes for a run, rests during the day, and then he embarks on a second run in the afternoon. This simple formula gives him ample time for training and recovery. However, this isn't to say that Kipchoge lives without responsibility. He's the face of numerous businesses, he's an avid environmentalist, and while he's at his training camp, he's responsible for completing numerous household chores ranging from mopping his floors to cleaning the toilet. Perhaps the most appropriate quote to describe his lifestyle comes from Kipchoge himself. Only the disciplined ones are free in life. If you are undisciplined, you are a slave to your emotions and your passions.
It's impossible to know exactly what goes through Elliot Kipchoge's mind on a day-to-day -day basis, but his mental influence on everyone around him is contagious. Brett Kirby, the lead physiologist for the Breaking Two Project, explained how Kipchoge taught him the importance of mental fortitude. He says, I don't even know how to describe how he's shown me how important the mind is. He explains how important it is to account for shoe quantification and temperature influence when it comes to racing, but the most important piece of a marathon may very well be the mind. Throughout Kipchoge's career, he has always been tough. In 2003, he outlasted Hisham El Garouge on the track at the World Championship 5000 meter final. In 2004, he ran his 5K personal best of 12 minutes and 46 seconds at the young age of just 19. But none of these accomplishments showcase his toughness like his marathon experiences. Just a simple glance at his marathon resume will give you an idea at how mentally strong he's been. No matter what the pace was, or how any marathon unfolded, Kipchoge was almost always able to pull out the victory. In 2017 at the Berlin Marathon, newcomer Gaye Adola mounted a strong challenge against Kipchoge, where he actually passed Kipchoge over the last few miles. However, Kipchoge maintained his focus and his poise, and he was able to pass him in the closing stages of the race. In the 2015 London Marathon, Wilson Kipsang stayed with Kipchoge up until two hours and two minutes of the race. And afterwards, Kipchoge opened up his stride to an absolutely unresponsive Wilson Kipsang. Although many have stayed with Kipchoge until the later stages of the race, only one person has ever managed to beat him in the marathon. And that was Wilson Kipsang back in 2013 when he broke the world record. The best example of Kipchoge's mental tenacity is clearly the 2018 Berlin Marathon when nobody could even come close to Kipchoge's incredible world record. After only one mile of running, Kipchoge had already separated himself from the rest of the field. In his mind, Kipchoge knew he was ready for something special, and nothing would separate him from his goal. Kipchoge is the classic example of what Nike's slogan says, just do it. Kipchoge's mind grants him this incredible ability. He just goes out and he does it. Currently, Kipchoge is training for the 2019 London Marathon, where he will race against Mo Farah of Great Britain, who has also been training steadily for the marathon. Kipchoge has been on top of the marathon world since 2013, and it seems that his world record can only be challenged by one person, himself. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Thank you.